Hi, my name is Jasmine and I am an addict. Growing up, I grew up uh, in like an unstable environment. Um, you know, my family also suffers from this disease, so I was like predisposed and introduced to this lifestyle at a very young age. Um, I had my first drink at the age of like nine. By the time I had hit middle school, um, you know, I was progressing into hard drugs, and by the time I hit high school, I was already a full-blown drug addict. Um, I was someone that was in and out of jail, um, in and out on probation violations. I was never like a hardened criminal, but like I couldn't stay sober, you know. Um, so I started labeling myself an addict. I wore it as a badge of honor. But when I really truly like accepted that I was an addict and that I needed help uh, was in 2015. So I was living in um, what I would call an abandoned house. There was me and a bunch of other people staying there. The house was filthy. There was no electricity. There was no running water. Um, it was filled with mold and um, I didn't love myself and I didn't love myself enough to care that that's how I was living. I remember sitting there as I was getting high bawling my eyes out because I didn't want to live this way anymore and it was at that moment that I was like holy cow like maybe this is what people have been telling me about um, my whole life and, and that aha moment wasn't enough for me to stop. Um, so at 32 years old, uh, homeless, not working, um, I, I hated my life and all I'd ever known is pain. So in September of 2016, um, I decided to take my own life by an intentional overdose. Uh, and I was really upset when I woke up. And um, you know, God intervenes in all different kinds of ways. And so my poor mom, um, she brought me up to Granite Recovery Centers and, and I went up there with no hope and, and nothing. And, um, and when I got there, they just showed me unconditional love. One of the very first days what they did was they taught me a disease model. And I remember like the hair on my body going up because as they broke down the disease model, I was like, holy cow, like that's me. And like I started thinking about my entire life. And I have very vivid memories of never being okay in my skin before I ever picked up. And I was like, wow, this is it. This was everything that I ever needed. I, I needed to learn all these things about myself. And I just grabbed onto that program and I've ran with it and I'm coming up on four years sober here in a couple months and like my life has gotten significantly good. Granite Recovery Centers, more than anything, what they did is they introduced me to a community of individuals that are still in my life today. Uh, I really would not be the woman that I am today if I did not practice what Granite Recovery Centers taught me when I got sober. My whole life I felt that I was never going to be anything and I was never going to do anything and um, my whole life I felt that society told me that and I believed what they told me. Um, so to be out on the other end of this thing, like walking in the trenches with people, like they come in and they, they, they bear their pain, their heart, their soul, and, and, and they believe these things that they tell themselves. And I'm like, I get it. I get it. Let me show you. And you know, you can connect with someone on a whole different level when you can relate to their pain. And so I can get on their level with them and I can literally hold their hand through this process and encourage them and God willing, like inspire them and help them the whole way. Uh, when I came to work for Granite Recovery Centers, it was like, I'm home. I'm home. Because like this is where I got sober. Uh, there's a piece of, a special piece of you that's here when you get sober here. And then to be able to work here and do that, there's no better feeling. Hi, my name is Jasmine and I am Granite Recovery. If you or a loved one you know are having problems with addictions, please call Granite Recovery Centers today at 1-866-613-5980 or visit us online at www.graniterecoverycenters.com.